Today I learned three things, that redditors use slash s for indicating they mean sarcasm, that fuck button dashboard exists, and I found a project called Internet OS. Two out of these are fucked, so all there's left for us to look at is the Internet OS. Here's the project's readme, but us zoomers forgot how to read sentences that contain more than three words during COVID, so let's immediately jump into the live demo. The project is named Potter and it's basically a web page that looks like a Linux desktop. I'm not really sure why I find it exciting to be honest. It would be cool to host this on your home server and have it as sort of a lobby I guess. And that's also what the readme of the project says. And yes, I know how to read, I lied before. So you could treat it as a personal cloud, a platform for building and publishing websites, web apps and games, an alternative to Dropbox a remote desktop environment for servers and workstations. Anyways, here are a few things that you can do on this desktop. You can obviously manage files and directories as you would do on any Linux PC, which to be honest is the biggest feature for me. You can actually code. You have what looks like VS Code and I'm pretty sure you can run code as well, even though I'm too dumb to run it from inside this editor. It appears to be possible from the terminal though. Then you have utilities like notepad, camera app and a voice recorder. And you have a terminal with the phoenix shell. I'm not sure what this shell is supposed to be, but it appears to me that it isn't POSIX compliant. Still pretty cool. Also, if you type vim, it opens this coming soon box. And having full vim inside of here would actually be very nice in my opinion. Even though I'm not so sure what I'd use it for to be honest. And that's only stuff that's pre-installed on this live environment. There's also a full app store which has a bunch of content. There are obviously games and holy crap. I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but I seem to have gotten completely out of touch with how games look. I had no idea you could run such a game with a browser. Although to be honest, I'm not sure if it runs locally or on the server. Anyways, there's also a bunch of tools like Silex for designing websites, markdown tools, PDF viewers and of course you can't have a product without AI these days. There's also a video editor and a photo editor. I don't know, there's a bunch of cool things here, even stuff like a meme maker. If you're interested, look at this live demo and click around the store. One nice thing is that this website also works with mobile devices. I'm guessing this comes in very handy if you're using it as a home server lobby. This desktop also works with sessions, which means that you could have more users and each of them can have their own personal cloud basically. Here in the live environment you can click this QR code icon and if you scan the code you can log into the same session from multiple devices. I'm guessing this is connected to accounts as well. Anyways, this is just a cool project I saw and wanted to share with you. If you liked the video consider subscribing and if you have any projects you'd like to share with me put them down in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye!